Well, if you Google disc golf, you'll find there are 172 disc golf courses in Alabama. 125 leagues to compete in. It was 1976 when a pro disc golf champ named Tom Monroe, a Huntsville native, introduced the sport to North Alabama. Monroe died of cancer over the weekend at the age of 77. Here's Johnny Condon on Monroe's life and legacy. George Ward Park on the southwest outskirts of the city of Birmingham is a very special place to the disc golf community. A community who this week is grieving following the loss of one of the sport's great pioneers, Alabama native Tom Monroe. And if you ever saw him even in the heat of battle and competition in world championships, he would play for the crowd. I mean, he would throw just some spectacular shots when it probably wasn't a smart thing to do. He would do it anything because he knew that the crowd and the kids watching would enjoy it. From the time the sport took off and was born in 1976, he had a hand in, you know, being a part of the forming committees and the steering and, and, and participating in all the events. And Monroe wasn't just a pioneer of disc golf. No, he was also a missionary trying to grow the game each and every day, even selling Frisbees out of the back of his own van. People got to know that if it's a nice sunny day. He's going to be out there at that course and you could buy a disc straight out of his straight out of his van. He had his own parking spot and in the white van and he was there, you know, he sold discs up there and, you know, gave lessons and did all kinds of things. You know, he was a, you know, just a staple there. And as for Monroe's lasting legacy, well, that extends well past the 18th green. He indeed was the Johnny Appleseed of disc golf. I mean, he, he grew the sport. His seeds that he planted all over the United States, even traveling to Europe, to compete. It wasn't just about, you know, winning and losing. It was about make, how, how he made people feel. Now, from the people that I've talked to, no one has referred to Monroe as the greatest disc golf player that's ever lived. Instead, he's received more of a distinct title, the most important disc golf player that's ever lived, dedicating his life to the sport he loved so dearly. But for now, at George Ward Park in Birmingham, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports. Monroe got to hang out with the Grateful Dead when they played a show at Memorial Coliseum in Tuscaloosa in 1977. They asked him to go on the road with them for a while, Brenda. Wow. But Tom had a Frisbee tournament in Sarasota the next day. Now that's dedication. Absolutely it is. Thank you, Jeff. What a story.